This July, I'm going to be cycling from Wembley Stadium in London to Fog Lane Park in Manchester. And I'm doing it for two reasons. Firstly, it's in memory of one of my former coaches, Julie Chipchase, who was a real trailblazer in women's football. She managed Doncaster Bells, Leeds United, worked with the England youth teams, and was one of the most highly qualified coaches in England. Chippy, as she was known to us, was our coach at Doncaster Bells. And after she passed away from breast cancer in 2021, former players set up the Julie Chip Chase coaching legacy. So the money raised will go towards helping aspiring female coaches. Secondly, I was football mad as a kid at a time when women's football was taboo. I grew up being told that girls didn't belong in football and I knew nothing about our history. In fact, even after representing my country and playing both here and abroad, it was years later before I learned about the women who came before me. Discovering that history made a big difference to me and I believe it will to others too. Others like my niece Eliza and my little sister Poppy who both play football. It's important for all girls like them to feel proud of the history they're now a part of. So I'll be stopping at primary schools along the way to give girls and boys chance to learn more about the history of women's football. The ride starts at Wembley Stadium where the Lionesses made history to win the Euros in 2022 to Fog Lane Park where the mighty Manchester Corinthians played during the time of the ban on women's football. 200 miles, Tuesday the 8th to Friday the 12th of July, paving the way for the next generation. Because it's only the beautiful game when everyone can play.